Going into my second tactical games competition in South Carolina, I made a video that talked about my food plan and what I was hoping to accomplish that weekend. And part of the reason I did that was because my, at my first tactical games competition, I went in with a plan as well, but I missed the mark big time and ended up feeling either a combination of nauseous or sluggish during several of my battles. And I just didn't want to make that mistake again for the second competition. So this is my updated version um, to tell you guys kind of how it went and what I ended up eating during my second tactical games competition. So first things first, this competition was hosted at a decommissioned nuclear power plant. The battles were very complex. There was a lot of awesome stuff. There was some heavy, heavy farmer carry, bare bones bag, you know, running sandbags upstairs. Um, so the, the fitness portion of this competition, in my opinion, was much harder than my first competition in Lakeland, Florida. That being said, I ended up sticking to my plan pretty much to the T all weekend. I didn't have a single battle where I felt nauseous or sluggish. And when you're at a competition like this and there's already so much being thrown at you where it's, you may not already be, you know, I'm not the best runner, so I'm, I'm already kind of behind and things like that. And when the shooting is very complex as well, the last thing you want to do is screw yourself on something like not eating enough when you could have done, you know, you could have eaten enough and then had a, a better experience overall. So super happy to report that back because it just felt good. I felt good all weekend. I was able to do what I was able to do on a fitness level and I didn't I didn't do worse because I wasn't disciplined enough to eat the right amount of foods. So now I want to talk to you about exactly what I ate on Saturday and Sunday for the competition. But before I get into that, I also want to tell you that leading up to the competition, Derek and I left Florida on Wednesday. We got up to South Carolina on Wednesday night. We were there Thursday and Friday as well. And then the competition was Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and this is something that we're also typically pretty bad at, um, we were traveling and doing things like that. I was adamant about getting the proper amount of calories in my body on those traveling days and on the days that we were doing photo shoots for work and things like that. I was able to accomplish that. So leading up to it, I also was making sure I was fueled for Saturday and Sunday and kind of like already in the habit of doing that. Now, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and start showing you uh, these screenshots from my macro tracking app. So let's get right into that. So on Saturday morning, this part was very, very hard for me. I love breakfast. I'm a huge breakfast person. I do not like eating before 9 a.m. My body just like wants to puke up anything before that time for whatever reason. So. We woke up around 5, 5 to 5.20 a.m. Directly after I woke up, Derek the night before had prepared two scrambled eggs and two pieces of bacon for me. So I threw those in the microwave and then I kind of just forced them down my face. Every, every bite I took, I wanted to puke. I just like don't want to eat. Um, so I would just, you know, swish it around, put some water in there and then put it down my face. Next is on the way to the competition. We had, there was about a 15 minute drive. So as I did that, I ate my oatmeal. So my oatmeal consists of, let's see, it's 60, 61 grams of oats, four ounces of rice milk, and 50 grams of wild Maine blueberries. So I put that all together and then I ate that on the way to the competition. I also, like, I typically put down oats pretty easily, but I was having a really big problem. So I just was like one spoonful, chomp it around, and then swish it down with water. So both Saturday and Sunday, the, that is what I ate before the first battle of the day. I was able to accomplish it. It was very difficult. Okay, next, throughout the competition, 
I ate the same exact things on Saturday and Sunday. There wasn't a lot of time between a lot of the battles. So when we only had about 45 minutes to an hour before battles, I just continuously snacked on my baby food packets, the fuel for fire packets, and then gummy bears. That is literally all that I snacked on. I think I had, I think I ended up having like four baby food packets, three fuel for fires, and then like four packets of gummy bears throughout the day. Um, so I did that. When there was time to have a little bit more of a break, that's when I would start cramming down those uh, turkey sandwiches. So all I had was potato bread, mustard, and turkey deli meat. I would put those together. So like you can see, it says turkey meat was about 300 grams. So I just, I had two of those sandwiches per day, but it, I only had one during the actual um, day with the battle. Directly after the battles were done, I had my second sandwich followed by my beef sticks and my guac cup. So same deal Saturday and Sunday. I ended up hitting all of my food goals uh, and then the next day I was ready and I just felt pretty great. So uh, those foods aren't necessarily what everybody else was eating. For some people say that you should eat the same exact foods that you eat on a daily basis. That doesn't work for me. I don't crave any of the foods during competition that I eat on a regular basis. So most of this food is actually stuff I do not eat on a regular basis. Um, obviously I start to eat it about a week leading up to the competition. So I'm not completely shocking my body because that would not be good, but that's exactly what I did. I felt awesome. Um, I am currently working on a blog post that takes all of the prior athletes suggestions for what they should eat, uh, what they eat and what you should eat during a tactical games weekend. I will be posting that soon. Just make sure that you're following citizen zero and we will, once that blog is up, we'll let you know. Lastly, water. Another mistake I think I've been making in previous competitions is we get like all of these Fiji water bottles, but then I, you know, you're, you're all over the place. Your car somewhere else, your noon tablets are over there and you just forget how much water you've been drinking. So this time around I got smart and I just bought gallon jugs and I just carried around with me all day, dropped some noon tablets in there for electrolytes. And then I ended up drinking about two gallons every day on Saturday and then again on Sunday. So that was another thing is I just felt hydrated all weekend. So that's what I did, hope that helps. And then the blog post will for sure help you even more because people have, they, you know, they tweak what they eat a little bit. Um, and so I'm sure you're gonna be able to find some stuff that helps you for your next competition.